Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sales for Sunt. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about how to create reusable tooltip in LWC. So if you want to learn this component and new things, so please watch this video until end and don't skip any part of this video. Okay, so if you are new in this channel, also you can subscribe the channel, also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates, so you never will miss any kind of update from my site. Before starting this video, I request you to all please support me guys because I need your support. So let's get started without any further delay. Let me open my VS code. So now you can see my VS code, right? So I have created two component. One is tooltip and second is parent tooltip. So tooltip is a reusable component and based on this reusable component, we can use this tooltip inside our parent tooltip. So how we can use that? So first of all, let me design this tooltip child component. This is the child component. Let's say template is already defined. Let me add the div. And under this div, I have one class. And then, th then under this class, we can give the class name. Let's say tool tip container. Okay, so this is the class. I already defined some CSS, so you can see this tool tip container. Okay, you can see here everything, right? So now you have to use that class inside this div. Okay, after that, here you have to use lightning icon so how we can use so just you have to type like lightning hyphen icon like that and close it under this icon we have lots of things right so here this is a standard component so now first is icon name so icon name is utility utility info and then size we can use let's say double x small okay double x is small and then we have to use like alternative alternative text so alternative text is info okay and this icon have two events one is a mouse over and mouse out because i need to be customized this you know tooltip because uh, one standard component is already there in the uh, component library that is uh, you know developed by the salesforce but how we can customize that one so that's why the motive of this video this is okay so now here on mouse over i need to use on mouse over okay so now let me check on mouse over so this is the one event under this event we can handle it let's say so tooltip so this is the event so tooltip another one mouse out uh, and hide tooltip so these two event after that you have to add here after this icon okay you have to add one you know div again under this div we have to define some class because this is a some class as a tooltip class under this tooltip class we have to use lwc if this is a latest directory conditional directory lwc if and i have defined or i need to define one js property inside html or First of all, we can define like under the HTML, like is tool tip visible, something like that. Okay, so this is the Boolean property. And uh, here, after that, you can see this one. And uh, I need some text here, like tool tip text. Okay, so this design is ready. And CSS, you can see here, like tool tip, icon tool tip wrapper, tool tip. Okay, everything tooltip after, tooltip container, our tooltip. Everything I defined this is custom CSS. Okay, so now you can see this uh, child component, HTML and CSS is ready. Now come to the JS file. And uh, under the JS point of view, we have to use, please observe guys, we have to use like pub public property. So how we can use public property? Let's say at the rate API. So first of all, we have to use at the rate API. And let's say tool. Okay that is tooltip text so tool tooltip text okay so tooltip uh, capital if you want let's say tooltip text okay after that we have to define uh, like a boolean property so as make it as a trackable like uh, that one we have is visible so just copy it paste it here first time is false okay first time is false and we have to define here we have two events one is you know so tooltip tool so we have to use this 
he went here like and now this door tool tip visible equal to true right this one as well let's say tool tip because say property so we have to use a camel case as well okay so here tool tip another method we have another method that is hide tool tip copy it paste it here and we have to use this for it so our child component is ready to use inside your parent okay so now how we can use this reusable component this tooltip reusable component tooltip text here you can see this one this is the default text and we can pass this some data from parent to child okay so in that case this is the reusable right and on this reusable component we can use inside our parent so how we can use that so under the this uh, HTML of the parent we have to use this component so how we can use that let me tell you here okay so first of all you have to design like HTML of the parent so let me design here in the template we have to use lightning card let's say card or card that is lightning card and here like custom tool tip something like that you can give any title as you want but for now i'm using this one under here we have to define something that is a div class and there are so many divs for first uh, first of all let me define like div under this div we have to use like class under this class we have like info or uh, hyphen container this custom class we will define this inside the parent css okay under this div we have another div right under this div we have to use like info text okay or first of all we have to define our slds like class and margin around large or let's like say margin around large and we can update it like a large and then around large and now here we have to define another div okay so under this div right under this div we have one custom css and we uh, this custom class like the info text let me define like info hyphen text okay now under this one we have to define like uh, some text okay so how can we define it so we can use or before that like around one we can use this one that is span tag okay because span is in line one that's that's why okay so now let me check this one span and here and this is the div of this or let me remove it don't worry so here we have to use this save this if anything is happen or not okay so i have some error remove this one let me save this yeah so this time will be saved here successfully it's still error so under this div we have to do it and again i need to define like a span tag so under the spam tag right we can use uh, our texts okay so this is spam tag have the css class that is info hyphen text right under here let's say how our how our over the icon see the tool tip something like that okay now after that after this uh, you know spam tag we have to use our custom custom uh, you know component and that is tool tip so how we can use so c is the name space c hyphen tool we have to use kebab case so tool hyphen tip okay and then this one okay so this component have uh, you know uh, one property that is public that is tool tip so let me copy this one paste it here like this and you have to use like as a kebab case all is small like all is small hyper t small and now you can give anything as you want here right so text you can give anything as you want so i can use like uh, some dummy text so let's say this is custom tool tip and data from parent to child component something like that okay so this is the text so okay so let me deploy the child component first okay so once we deploy the child after that we can use this child component inside you know parent we already use here now let me do that one thing 
we have to use here let me deploy or let me save this one like this okay so now we have to deploy our parent component so without css we cannot deploy this parent because it's a empty one so we have some class like dummy class like info container something like that so we can define that css here so how we can define the css for this one so first of all let's say info this is the class like info container so this class we have like info container so let me copy this class name paste it here dot the go class always access by the dot operator and display flex display flex this is the some css of the parent align item uh, like center gap we can use like gap like a uh, 5px okay so this is the some this time we use the flex and center the align item adjust the gap control between the tags and icon so okay and another css we have that is uh, we have to use that is info text so let me check this one so just copy this class paste it here and add the css for this one let's say margin i need margin margin right okay margin right uh, how much pixels five pixels so let me save this and let me deploy it now once you deploy this component right so you can see successfully deploy our parent component as well as child component now we have to use this parent component inside the salesforce so before that you have to configure this xml file okay this xml file and make it like a, is exposed as true and after that target so i can use this component inside the record page app page home page because i already enabled it so how we can use that let me open the org so this is my org let me open any record page as we have let's say account record page okay so let me open the account record page like this once you open any record page of this sales application or any application as you have like console outs you know standard custom or standard so you can use it so just click on this gear icon edit this page and now after that you have to do just under here in the custom you have to search like the parent tool tip something like that just drag and drop anywhere as you want like this click on the save button and once you save it now it's automatic activated because i already have some custom component that's why so just go back here and once you go back here now you can see my component that is custom tool tip hover over the icon to see the tool tip so now you have to check this conditional wc if is tool tip visible same property will be available inside the you know js file of the child yeah so once you deploy your child component now in the parent we already injected this component right and this is the property of the text let me deploy this parent as well so here now you can see that i already deploy it in the org let me refresh this page under this page you can see my component visible here right so like how are over the icon and see the tool tip so now you have to one thing just mouse over on the i icon you can see this is a custom tool tip and data from parent to child okay so this is the custom one right so this is a reusable component you can use this uh, tool tip component anywhere as you want in your parent component and pass the data from parent to child so that is very useful for us this is the reusable component inside the lwc so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comments also subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye take care